I'm Bobby Ryan for FCDallas.com, here to preview FC Dallas and Sporting Kansas City as they're set to square off on Sunday evening at Pizza Hut Park. Here's a look at the Subaru keys to the game. Well, last weekend for Sporting Kansas City, they traveled to BMO Field to take on Toronto FC. It was a 0-0 draw and a point gathered for Sporting Kansas City. Head coach Peter Vermees rolled out a 4-3-3 formation, so four at the back, three in the center of midfield. Omar Bravo, Teal Bunbury, and Ryan Smith really lead the way up top. For FC Dallas most recently, it was a 1-0 home victory over the New England Revolution. Marvin Chavez scored his first goal of the season, while Jair Benitez made his return to the left side of defense. And Kevin Hartman made headlines for FC Dallas on the night when he gathered his 100th career shutout. The first key to the game on Sunday evening is to create width. Most recently, sporting Kansas City at BMO Field against Toronto FC. You can see in this clip here that Toronto is looking to win the ball quickly. They're anxious to gain back possession. However, it makes them susceptible to a counter. It's Jao Plata that finds the ball high and wide on the left side of midfield. It's Tony Chani that picks him out. Now Plata is isolated one-on-one, -on -one, and the Ecuadorian gets a shot off on goal. Well, we talked to midfielder Eric Alexander about the importance of FC Dallas wide play. Obviously, Kansas City puts a lot in the center, center of the park, and uh, you know that leaves the outsides open. So uh, we'll just have to keep our wingers out wide, make sure you know they get more touches on the ball, and that'll open up back up the center of the field because they'll have to shift out. So it'll make it easier for everyone, I think. The second key to the game is to break pressure. The three central midfielders for Sporting Kansas City always look to really hunt the ball in packs and try to win possession. Most recently in BMO Field, you'll see a clip here in which they're doing exactly that. Tony Chani is the man that breaks through all three central midfielders, and the Sporting Kansas City midfield and back line is forced to retreat as Chani finds Yurosovsky. The Toronto midfielder has options in front of him with a four-on-four -four attack. Nothing comes of it, but the initial pressure was broken, and it was much to the advantage of Toronto. We spoke to FC Dallas midfielder Andrew Jacobson about the importance of breaking initial pressure. You know, we'll be outnumbered in the midfield, uh, in the center of the midfield, and, you know, they put on good pressure and they have some really good players, so uh, we're going to have to play really quick, you know, through those lines and, and find our dangerous guys as quick as possible. The third key to the game is to deny space to opposing forwards. You'll see in this 4-3-3 formation, most of the time, Teal Bunbury ends up being the target man that really gets things going for Sporting Kansas City. And you'll see in this clip here most recently at BMO Field against Toronto, it is Graham Zusi who is searching for options in the final third. But watch the run of Teal Bunbury. Now he's found some room at the top of the box, and the U.S. International uses his strength to unleash a chance on target. We spoke to FC Dallas defender George John about denying space. It's going to be smart just to contain him and not let him get too involved in the game and just kind of playing our game, really not letting him dictate what's going on. Well, it's FC Dallas and Sporting Kansas City on Sunday evening at Pizza Hut Park. Make sure you come on out to the stadium and look to see if the red-hot FC Dallas can claim their 200th victory in club history. The game kicks off at 6 p.m., so make sure you set your DVR to Fox Sports Southwest or for our Spanish listeners, you can tune into 1270 AM La Voz del Pueblo with your host, Carlos Alvarado. Well, FC Dallas is unbeaten in their last nine games. They'll look to continue their fine run of form on Sunday evening. For FCDallas.com, I'm Bobby Ryan.